All right, guys, so today I'm going to demonstrate how to etch stainless steel uh, just using some simple products that you can buy at any store. Um, let me just kind of show you what I got set up here. So I'm going to etch volume markings in my eight gallon kettle that I have here. I taped off uh, what I'm going to etch here. So I'm going to etch all the way down from uh, four gallons all the way up to eight gallons in my kettle with half gallon marks here so that's what I'm gonna do in the end stages but first I just wired this together all you need is a 12 volt battery um, some speaker wire or any wire that has pot of positive and negative that you can uh, strip with some wire strippers here uh, you attach the positive and negative together uh, I just used duct tape here to tape it on there. It doesn't really create enough heat to have to use electrical wire. You create a solution of a fourth a cup of white distilled vinegar with some sodium. Uh, I suppose you used to do a fourth a teaspoon, but I just honestly poured that in there, swirled it around until the sodium was uh, completely dissolved. So you take the negative end of the wire and wrap it around the end of a Q-tip. You take the positive end of the wire and ground it, I just again use duct tape, to whatever object you're going to etch. Alright, so I'm going to peel off the tape and see if I get a defined mark from this. Alright, so with the tape peeled off you can clearly see a defined mark in relation to the other part of the metal. So that should be sufficient to make the lines in the kettle and now I'm going to make some number stencils in the middle that I'll show you here too. Alright now I got everything set up in a ventilated area. I got my garage door open there, fan blowing over there, good to go. So got everything hooked up, got my ground wire to my pot, I got the, the wire hooked up to the q-tip. Let's get this started I'll show you what I'm doing here and then I will show you the end result. Let's dip a little bit in there. Let's see if this works. Alright, work my way up to the top here. This is a good chance for you to see the reaction. You see the bubbling. It'll let off a little smoke sometimes. It kind of turns it white. see the rest of this it's like an off-white I'm gonna run through it all again all right here's for the moment of truth I'm gonna tear off the tape and see what happened look at there just pulled off the tape Dang nice. So now I'm gonna put stencils in. I'm gonna do an eight right there, seven, six, five, and a four. All right. So now I have the numbers on there. As, I, as you can see, with the reflection of the light, you can see uh, the lines that I made in the kettle. And the move here, you can see the other side. So I just put a flat piece of masking tape down and then I tape the numbers over the masking tape and I'm going to take an X-Acto knife uh, like this and just carve out these into that tape there and take these off and we'll go from there. Alright, I have taken the X-Acto knife and carved out the the, sh the numbers here uh, through the tape. All right, just finishing up the etching here. As you can see, there's some discoloration on each of the letters, but there's a couple places I gotta hit. Alrighty, you can see the white markings all in there, so I'm gonna take the tape off and we'll see what it looks like. Look at that. I'll clean this up and get a final take of it. 
All right, so I'm just gonna put some Barkeeper's Friend on there to clean this up, put a nice little oxidation layer on these markings, and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so here is the finished product. It's nicely etched, 87654 gallons. It's not perfect, but it's going to do the job. gallon and half gallon marks in my eight gallon kettle. Comment and like. Thank you.